Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays EverQuest 2. I'm on my necromancer on the normal servers again. So right after we left off, I uh, decided to uh, clean up clean up this guy a little bit. I did. Uh, I went ahead and uh, sent him a whole bunch of uh, 44 slot uh, swamp ash strong boxes. They were like 15 gold uh, on the broker. Uh, and I also went ahead and uh, sent him a plat just in case he needed it. Um, I claimed uh, several of my items. You'll see here I've got my Orb of Concentrated Memory. I've got uh, Revival of the Group. I've got my Eyes and uh, Mystic Mopic if I wanted to shrink down. And then I've got all of these experience potions. I think I got most of the ones that I had on my Veteran Rewards. Um, and I have them kind of laid out here and... and uh, ascending order so here's like the 20% and 55 77 and then after that they go up to 110 so this is probably the order that we're going to use them um, because levels are much faster uh, in the earlier levels than they are in the higher levels so if we just slightly boost them up as we go uh, it should level out right um, but I'm still not going to use those till probably level 20 or so when things start to slow down just a little bit. Um, what else was I going to show you? Uh, let's see. I did say in the last video I was going to uh, name my pet according to subscriptions, but uh, that's not exactly a good idea because uh, I have other videos and people subscribe for many things. So what I'm going to do is, based on the comment section, uh, so whoever last, whenever I record these videos, whoever last commented on one of my videos, uh, you're going to be, you're going to get a pet named after you. Uh, so for right now, Alex Barbosa has been a very avid commenter on my channel, so I really appreciate him. And uh, so for right now, uh, I got to put it all together here. Let's do this again. It's... Alex Bosa. Bye. There we go. So, uh, I can't tell you when I record these videos. It's very random. Um, in fact, I, I don't even think my next video has gone up where I mentioned this. <laughs> so, but whatever. We're, uh, I'll just do this every episode. So, from now, you know, if you leave a comment, you might catch it to where you're the last comment and we'll get a pet named after you or a mercenary. So, I, I'll even do a couple of them. Uh, whenever I'm starting to run a couple of pets. So the next, we are going to go on and uh, get the vampires. And uh, there's a quest line down here. We're trying to get back on the main quest line here. Uh, and down here at the bottom, there is an NPC that we need to talk to. And I know that this is part of the main quest line. So hail. Hello. Oh, so this will also give me an adornment. So I'm starting to get those and use those. Because they are definitely uh, buff, up, buff you up. Also, let's go ahead and let's see uh, what kind of character development we got going on. I haven't looked at these yet. Um, so the first one is the Eurudite. Um, we'll probably take uh, this intelligence one just to increase our damage. Focus effects. Um, it's, this is going to be one of our main spells and it increases the damage. So I'm probably going to go with this first. If you think I should take a different one at some other time. If you've got an idea on where I should be placing some of these, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, again, our Alec has uh, made a lot of he made a lot of interesting notes uh, concerning necromancers. So um, if you're interested in that, you really should check out that first video. He's good. there's a lot of good comments going on in that. Um, and I think what are we at here? Soul rot three. So let's go ahead and just get uh, the master level of that, the grand master level, because that'll greatly increase our damage as well. 
So that's it. I'm going to be leaving uh, the experience slider all the way. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to do zero for now. I uh, might slide that off a little bit uh, just where I'm getting a little bit of AAs as I go. Uh, it's going to depend a lot on how fast I'm leveling. I had a question concerning uh, the agnostic dungeons. If you do, uh, do a dungeon, I think it is. Yes, there's a dungeon finder. And it requires a level 20 or above. Whenever you get to level 20 or above, there is some um, agnostic dungeons. Meaning that starting at level 20, they scale up uh, depending on your, your level. Uh, I'm not going to level all the time in there, but I am going to try to do each one of those on camera for us uh, when we get get into those levels if I'm feeling a little bored. Look at that. We got an exquisite chest. And it's a reagent. Reactant. That's all. Really? That damaged us a lot, too. Alright, let me go ahead and get through these uh, fairies. Finish those fairies and the um, name that I was looking for in the last video is up. Uh, as you can see, whenever you've got a name here, we've got a star next to it. Uh, that means that they are available for alternate experience. So uh, let's go ahead and switch this to alternate advancement experience. So you can see we're here at 17%. Uh, so let's see uh, how much that changes whenever we kill Vile Beak. Everything's going so down, uh, so fast and easy on this. It's really a nice change from <laughs> the TLE server. All right, so we can see it went up to 29, so it was pretty substantial uh, just for one kill, and that's the reason you'll see a lot of people doing the um, the Chrono Mages and stuff because you can find names that uh, give you alternate advancement. And of course, once you get to uh, level 100, that's all you're going to be working on is your alternate advancement. Um, and there's a lot, a lot of things that happen whenever you uh, use your alternate advancement. Okay. Getting all sorts of quest items in, I think. Yeah, I need to go kill the vampires up here. And uh, these are level 14, 15. You can see there's a tomb there that's got little spirits or something coming out. These guys are touchy. Uh, they... They seem to aggro from a, a long range, so just be prepared for that whenever you're coming up on them. And they have uh, some Lord Legend uh, by Teeth, I think, uh, that we're going get, to get off their mobs, so we want to get that going as soon as possible. And we'll probably complete most of it while we're here in this zone. Because they drop, drop them pretty consistently. So you can see there, a vampire, vampiric incisor. So you want that. And they have little dragon minions. Let's go ahead and get that sizer going. I think I have to examine every single one, but I just want to make sure. Oh, and there's a Dracoda eye. Alright. Got a lot of loyalty tokens. Um, you know, I honestly haven't looked much at loyalty tokens. I know there's all sorts of rewards you can get with them, and I've got quite a bit on here. I think it's showed just now it had 71 tokens. Uh, so I probably should look at that and just see what I can get. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and study that. And study the Dracoda. Alright. I want those on my trackers. Oh, I thought that was a name for a second. He was just standing so so big over there. Alright, so let me uh, blow through some of these vampires and I will be back. Oh, and I got level 16. Easy, easy. 
since I did get level 16, let's take a look at what we got here. Pandemic. Wait a minute. This is a alternate experience item. Ah, uh, yes. It already has us on a solo track here. You can actually choose the tracks now. Uh, this is relatively new where you can gear up according to whatever uh, you want. Uh, I haven't looked at these, so I'm not for sure. Uh, again, if you have an idea on what I should be doing, uh, usually I, whenever I'm starting out a new character, I'll actually take each one of these top level uh, because all of these are damage items, so they're very easy to get, and so you can get a lot of damage really quickly. Um, so you might do that if you want. So that's the what this one is right here. You can see it's a quick damage. Uh, we also got another heal. This one heals the, the caster for 68 and inflicts 147 damage on the target in an area effect. Wow, that's really nice. So many nice things with, with the Necromancer. And we got another damage spell. This is Grasping Bone. Stuns target, does not affect epic targets. Resistibility increases against targets higher than level 45. So this is just a... Yeah, so it's just a stun. So I'm gonna save that for over here. I'll put this up here with my other heal. Uh, this one has a pretty long cooldown. Looks like 30, 45 seconds. Don't know how long the cooldown is on this. Let's uh, get this guy and see what the cooldown is. Mm, so like a 30 second cooldown. That's actually not bad. Could almost put that in rotation. And be just fine. Especially since it's... Except it is an area effect spell, so I just have to be careful with it. Yeah, it's already ready. Uh, so I just might keep that on the bar. Alright, just need one more of these guys. And then I will head back to the outpost. You can see I'm already blowing through my vitality pretty quickly here. We'll be coming back because we have to go into the tomb there. Wow, lots of... Lots of these. So let's examine the Dracota tooth. Examine the incisors. Need like 20 of those and we're already up to 6. an adornment we need to use there. I'll do that in a little bit. Alright, let me run all the way back. Oh, I forgot to turn my ring on. Much, much better. Look how fast I'm trucking now. What? Salutations. That I did. There we go. I'll see what I can do. Salutations. There. Turn it up there. Okay. Ah, and this one gives me a bracelet, which I need. So, I'm looking for people missing. And going up here. Oh, I know, I know which one that is. Okay. Gather yeah, who's... Okay, so let me go up here to the missing people where I can get that bracelet. Let's sit down, silly. Here they are. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and do our AoE too. Blood cloud. Sounds so ominous. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, and that did update what we needed, didn't it? In fact, that was all that we needed. We just needed to kill the wand to let them know. Uh, and then they send us back with something else. Now, he wants me to go send the report. Gotta run back up here to Wonderless Fair. And what do you have to say? Oh, just attracted one of those things. So now we have a strobe. We're gonna daze those things. And Alec almost has it killed. Without me doing anything. Good job, Alec. Okay, now we're going to use the strobe on, on the ghoulish Narians. Let's see. Oh, that easy. Just a little timer. As long as you don't get too close and attract one, we are all right. right back down to this guy. Hello. Alright, and he wants me to destroy the Thin Bloods. And slay more vampires. Oh, we're going to go up back into this area. Okay, now we definitely want to go into the tomb there. And uh, I think I'm going to try my visibility here. This is a new spell I got recently. We're just going to try to run in there and see if we can get in there without too much trouble. Very good. So we'll just kill everybody in the tomb and get the information we need. Instead of killing everybody out here and then having to kill more in here. So, target and destroy. And use more of my AoE Blood Cloud. Very cool name. I like that. Level 17. Two or three uh, levels per episode. Per 20 minute episode. It's not too bad, is it? down here in the thick of it for sure. Let's throw a dot on him. Now do I keep getting hit that keeps messing up my spell? I guess so. scrawled note and I think that's what I need yes so now I'll just work my way out of here and turn this in actually I just remembered there's a name back here so I'm gonna go ahead and kill him as well because I don't remember if he's part of the quest line or not so we're just gonna do it anyway and get our make sure we get our achievement experience our alternate experience and maybe he'll drop something good for us. Mornsizer gives a chest with an earring of the Dark Light Guard, which does us no good because it's all strength based. Alright, anything else back here? Sometimes you gotta make sure. Nothing is clickable. Alright, let's get out of here. On my way back, I decided to kill these guys up here too. Because they're part of the quest. And they're already green to me. So it shouldn't take but a minute. Okay, finishing that up. Turn these Salutations. in. Okay. Get a nice wrist item. Let's that on since we don't have any yet. 
Aha, uh, and there we get a sarcophagus for our house. All right, we need to go back to the Wanderlust Fair. Hello. Not that. There's a level 18 quest, and that is the one we want because that takes us on to the next area. I don't even think I need to do these down here unless there's really something... Uh, I don't know what that one is. Uh, this one might be good to do, just to get that bracelet, just where we have another one. Not really necessary at the rate we're leveling, though. But as it is, that's probably a good place to start. A stop, uh, and I'll probably do a couple of those little side quests, and then we'll the next uh, episode I'll I'll start at the Shadow Oak Shadow Oak area. So if you made it this far, please give me a like, uh, leave a comment, and I'll name my pet after you if you're the most recent comment. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Every one of your subscriptions means so much to me. I really appreciate all you guys uh, watching my videos and commenting. It's it's really great. So, till next time, bye.